So I spent a few months with the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, and this still is one of the best bang for buck laptops that you can get in 2023. And I've made more videos about 2021 and even 2022 models in 2023. So if you wanna save some money, definitely check out those videos because you could save a few hundred dollars by not choosing the 2023. But I'm gonna talk about it in this video, what I love about it, what I don't like so much about it and see if it's the right one for you. Now, first and foremost, one thing that I really love about this laptop is the keyboard and trackpad. The keyboard and trackpad on this laptop are quiet. They have great tactile feel to the keycaps. They're a little bit on the softer side. They don't feel like such a cheap hardened plastic. They feel like more of a soft plastic material. You have a numpad on the right side, full size arrow keys, full size shift keys, enter. And of course you can quickly jump through your fan modes by holding function and Q, and that jumps you through your fan modes very quickly. So I like the usability as well as the feel of the keyboard and trackpad. Now the trackpad I've always complained about being a little small and it still is that same small size that I don't love so much, but it has a great click and feel to it. It's secured very well to the chassis and overall it's just a great trackpad for this laptop. Now here's a quick audio sample so you can hear what it sounds like to use both the keyboard and trackpad. Now the next thing on my list of things that I love is going to be the display. It has a bright display of well over 500 nits of screen brightness for the model I have before me. You have 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3, all at a Dell TE of 0.97. So it is a fantastic display, and for the price of this laptop, it's pretty much unbeatable. You can get this laptop on sale from anywhere from about $1,300 all the way up to $1,600. And then if you spec it out higher, obviously it's gonna get more expensive, but they do have some more affordable configurations of this laptop. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase of those links, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, another thing I like about this laptop is though we do have a lot of plastic materials on this laptop, it is assembled very well. You can see as we look at the bottom cover of the laptop, the bottom cover fits into the side panels very nicely. And to pull off this bottom cover is far easier than in the past. You just remove the screws, the bottom cover pulls out without removing the cover on the ports or these back vents. Back a couple of years ago, maybe even last year, you actually had to pull off the vents and the port cover to get the bottom cover off to access the upgrade path, which the upgrade path is great on this laptop. You have two RAM sticks that are upgradable, two M.2 drives, one comes occupied, one comes unoccupied, so you have a really strong upgrade path for this laptop, as well as being able to upgrade your Wi-Fi card. But if you buy the Intel version, you have a really great Intel Wi-Fi card, so I wouldn't necessarily upgrade that, but if you buy the Ryzen version, you might wanna upgrade that Wi-Fi card for a little bit better receptivity. Now the port selection is good on this laptop. It's got network port, USB-C, HDMI, USB type A's, and of course you got some more USBs on that side and this side, as well as a manual cutoff switch for the webcam and your headphone jack. Now, one reason I would go for the Slim 5 or maybe the Slim 7 over the Pro would be because you can get an SD card reader on the Slim series. Now, if you're a photographer, graphic designer, or videographer using a camera that totes SD cards, then that would definitely be a big advantage for you. You wouldn't have to carry around dongles. If you are somebody who does that and has this laptop, you'll need a dongle to bring in that footage. Just keep that in mind. It's a little bonus for the Slim series compared to the Pro series. But the Pro series comes with higher performing processors. Specifically here, we have the i7-13700H. And as we're looking at the performance benchmarks, it gets great results in Geekbench single core and multi-core, as well as Cinebench R23 single core and multi-core really showing off the 14 cores and 20 threads inside of that i7 13th gen processor. Match that with a really optimized RTX 4060, like one of the best optimized RTX 4060s money can buy, and you have a great powerhouse of performance at a great price point. Now let's go ahead and look at a few more of those benchmarks while we're on the conversation. For Photoshop, you can score a 1,095 inside of Photoshop, well above a lot of laptops from years past that would be in the two to $3,000 price point. If you're looking at After Effects, same thing, scoring a 921, when in the years past, it would have cost you two to $3,000 to score in that position as well. Now looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, it's amazing to see this laptop perform so well in all four of those programs. Like I said, all we have here is an i7 processor, 
and a 4060 GPU, which isn't the top tier GPU. And we're still seeing such great scores in these 3D modeling programs. So if you're somebody who's maybe a student or maybe you're getting into your professional career and you want a laptop that doesn't break the bank, but still gets great performance, this is a great option for you. Now, one of my favorite tests to look at, I'm gonna kind of jump ahead here and then pull back, is 6K video editing export time. It scores a 12 minute and 26 second export time absolutely bonkers for the price point of this laptop. Most laptops making that time are again, two to $3,000 laptops. Now let's jump back to 4K export time. We have did this in two minutes and 36 seconds, still a solid export time um, and just absolutely amazing. But what most impresses me is that 6K export time. Now, as we're looking at playback, this laptop cruises through playback without any issues, 32 drop frames for 6K B-RAW and 15 drop frames for 6K red footage. Fantastic. Um, now, as we look at DaVinci Resolve, we still have a good export time, but it's not necessarily the most impressive thing I've seen on the benchmark test at a 443. I'm not a big DaVinci Resolve user, but 443 is a better score than many laptops on the channel with similar specs that I have seen. Now, I've been reviewing more laptops throughout 2023, and to see this laptop still holding up against more and more laptops as I get more and more test data into the studio, it proves itself more and more to be such a great buy. It's definitely getting a lot of love on my channel this year, and I know you guys have thought, well, is this channel sponsored by Lenovo? No, Lenovo has still not paid me to review any products at all. And in fact, we've ran a series earlier giving you guys a discount through an exclusive discount code. And that discount code was Benji Extra 6. If it's still running, it ended in September. You can definitely snag it in the links below by going to Lenovo.com and using the discount code Benji Extra 6. But it might have run out by now if the end of September has already come and gone. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Or of course, click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you in the next one.